eh, yeah. yesterday, and now we have Bath Martha Bavire, the champion uh, from the Tuskamals Uganda Open for the ladies. Uh, good evening, Martha. Sorry for keeping you up this late. You told me you sleep at 8 p.m. Uh, today, because of us, you had to stay here longer than usual. Uh, first of all, congratulations and good evening. Good evening. Thank you. We have Omani Nange in the Murongo, so I'm Chigongo, so you pass as a younger sister uh, in this case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, okay. first, yeah, big congratulations. Your third Uganda Open victory. Um, okay. Won this by five shots. This is the biggest winning margin since Flavia Namakula. That sounds very easy. Was it that easy on the course? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was very easy because uh, <laughs> I've been I've been uh, working so hard, mm. and uh, I was very confident with my with my game. Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Not seen a sports a sports hey. person that arrogant and that confident about the ability. You Maybe know, it, they're, it, they're, it's... they're all gracious, and you know, it was very hard. Even when you you know, the other week, uh, mm. Man City were wiping the floor with United, Come uh, and then. Let's then finish city work. players are very generous. Uh, you know, it was very difficult and this kind of thing. Uh, but, um, uh, Martha, uh, wh what did it take for you to win this one? You talked about preparations. You also gave a very, very uh, good interview at the end of the tournament. I've been sharing with you uh, before I came here. You even thanked your ex-boyfriend, and that was quite hilarious uh, from you for helping you prepare for the tournament. That is quite an interview. Yeah, <laughs> I like quite, her already. I was thinking, <laughs> I've not had anyone do this. And at the end of the show, I'm going to ask Andrew what he appreciates about his ex when we are done with the show. Uh, but uh, first, take us through the preparation for what is the biggest amateur ladies tournament. What goes into those weeks leading up to the Uganda Open? I beg your pardon? What, what goes into your preparation for those weeks leading yeah. up to the Uganda? What are you doing exactly before you win? Because everyone knows you won, mm. but what's the yeah. process like? Actually, uh, the process was like, uh, actually, I've been praying uh, for, the, for one of the last few months, uh, eight months, uh, like I've been like struggling with my game, like I couldn't score. Hmm. And then uh, I had to find out why I wasn't scoring. And then I found out that I was really unfit. So hmm. I had to start again like a, like a new golfer, like with no handicap, or like a new a newcomer. So I had to start again with a gym, like got a, a personal coach who like, they normally ask us who, you, who, who like the person you want, like you feel comfortable with. So I got a coach who is Wazara Fred. And then... Uh, I was training hard, you know, and it was like, Martha, you can't get a card. You have to carry your own bag. You're so unfit. <laughs> so I had to first work on the fitness. And then and then I had to to move to Serena because that's where the, the event was taking place. And the course is very different. It has got water everywhere. So I had to be there two weeks before the event. Well, mm. you, you know, I, I, I'm just enjoying listening yeah, to, to, listen to it. And, and, and still on that, you actually, one of the preparation moves that you made was you stopped drinking. When did you stop and when do you plan to resume? <laughs> actually, the thing is, so the, actually, what happened is for the last four months, I've been like, you know, you know, in COVID, COVID was so tough with people, you know, we were not working. So the easiest thing was to drink and, you know. Then, then for the last four months, I really reduced on my, my drinking because, yes, I, I was drinking, but... Uh, that is actually reduced my fitness, and then that's what I noticed later. Like, oh, when you drink and you don't run, then you have no fitness. So I found out that, and then I had to reduce. But yeah, so for the last four months, I've not been really like very interested in drinking. But uh, I can have one or two, then you know, yeah. So it really helped me gain my fitness. So. Yeah, uh, Martha, I've, yeah. I've also seen. I've also seen uh, recently. Uh, you were part of the national team that played in the All Africa Challenge Trophy um, in Tanzania, yeah. and that did not yeah. go well. Um, how much does that story about the Challenge Trophy tell about the state of ladies golf today? Mm. I see a lot of you, Melon Chomugisha. I see Peace Kavasweka. I see you competing. But when you don't do well in a, a competition like that, someone is going to question how well, uh, how good the health of golf here is presently. 
Actually, what I can comment about that SCT, because we have been the fourth before when we were in Ghana. Mm. So the thing is, sometimes the thing needs to have a good management, people who know what you want and at what time you need this. So what happened is, before we used to, they used to ask us, like he ask you, Martha, who do you feel comfort, comfortable with training you? Yeah, which mm. didn't happen this time, you know? Mm. So this time, we just put a random coach, you know? And then, like, it's, they have to find out like how do you feel with the person they are getting as a coach mm. you know because sometimes before we didn't have a coach and we, we, we used to perform very well so they used to tell us get who you feel comfortable with so you train with your coach yes and then the rest is you to do with the scores but uh mm. may, we will do better because for us the thing is that of course was very bad the course was dry and mm. the humid there and, and we saw that happened with the boys in in egypt so mm. bad golf happened everywhere so uh, uh, of, uh, and you know, we yeah. want to let you go. Uh, yeah. Andrew is going to ask the last question. Yeah, of course, I see why you're getting the confidence and arrogance from good arrogance. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you've, you, you've, this is your third in four, in, in, in four opens. Uh, you, you, had uh, yeah. a knee, you had a knee issue, but you still went ahead. Uh, you had a knee issue, but you still went ahead and won. How did you play with a bad knee and, and still win the open? Actually, uh, I've had that knee for, in 2019 in the same course. So what I did is I found out that I was swinging, I was having a very bad swing. And then the reason why it was coming, it was having, it was coming back was because I was swinging so bad, so I was hurting it. So my coach told me, mm. you don't have to even, you won't even feel that knee. So you have to just stay on the ground and swing easy. It will be fine. So I felt the pain and then uh, I got some painkillers. So I was on painkillers and then I didn't tie it. So. Hmm. And I was just playing a simple game. So that's why the knee, it still passed. That's why I'm off in ginger, because I feel the pain and I see what happens in a few days from now, if I can start doctor. Okay. Wow. Uh, over the three days of the Tusca Multi Uganda Open, Martha Babiri there collected a gross score of 233. That was five strokes better than Melon Chomugisha was second and Peace Kawasweka who was third. Uh, thank you, Martha, for staying up late to speak to us at, at Zen TV. We really appreciate. And we could also notice the pain of you having to hold your phone um and be on the show and and, and keep being a jolly girl be, I, I, I really enjoy I, we really enjoyed having you on the show <laughs> if we're here i would even be laughing much louder thank you thank you very much martha you're welcome yeah have a good night have a good night that is martha babiri a champion of the tuscamalt uganda ladies open that happened over the weekend